What's up? I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it and give this video a like. Podcast below in the description. Check that out as well. Also, check out our sponsor, wineaccess.com slash ham. Get you 20% off some of the best wines in the world with a uh, satisfaction guarantee. It's easy. You just go to wineaccess.com slash ham. 20% off. You can order individual bottles. You can order several bottles. You can join some of their clubs. Ton of options. Go check it out on us. 20% off. Wineaccess.com slash ham. Just got to be 21 or over. All right, let's get to the content. Trey Lance's Pro Day is on Monday. So, awesome. Jeremy Fowler went on SportsCenter, uh, I guess, Sunday and said that the Niners are uh, open-minded on Trey Lance, that Trey Lance can sway the Niners' decision with a big performance. Um, we'll get to what Michael Lombardi said about Justin Fields coming up later, but this is uh, everyone showing up to this thing, so we got to treat it like everyone showing up to this thing for a reason, right? Well, it's just, it's a little like Justin Fields. It's part due, right? It's mm-hmm. their second pro day, which is a little weird until you pull back the curtain and realize – well, the guy with the third pick wasn't there. And Kyle said it the moment they made the trade. He said a big reason I haven't gone to pro days historically is because it tipped people off. And when I worked in the NFL, one job you had, I was thinking about this actually earlier today when we were trying to figure out like where the Niners represented his first pro day. They were. And it's not abnormal when you go to USC or you go to any pro day with a top first round pick, you write down every other team that were there. And you, know, you, you just write down, if it's just a random scout, you just write down 49ers, Eagles, whatever. But you write down the name if it's an executive or a coach, right? If the D, And this is, in normal times, you could send as many people as you want. So it's like, well, their DB coach was here, their wide receiver coach was here, and their offensive coordinator was here. And that's part of the information you send back. This year it's a little different, right, with the three people. But I think at this point in time, and Kyle, this is what, to me, he was alluding to, we ain't hiding anything. Now, we're still, I think, hiding the big picture, and we'll talk about who they're taking. I, I don't feel confident in any different direction. But they're not hiding, like, if they were still at 12 and they were still trying to work you know, their way up into the top five, who knows how they would have approached this. I think that's where it allowed them, would you agree, to kind of you know, let their hair down a little bit and just say, fuck it, let's do what we want to do, go to where we want to go, and let the chips fall where they may. Yeah, I, you could argue that there wouldn't have been a second – Justin Fields pro day. There wouldn't have been a second Trey Lance pro day if it weren't for the 49ers. I think that's a fair assumption to make. Now, maybe would, would Belichick have said, I want to see Justin Fields also. And I was at the Mac Jones, but it does feel like, you know, maybe I'm crazy because we're just this, in the middle this of this. One, this one specifically feels a little like they're doing this on purpose. The yeah. Fields one, you're right. Maybe who knows, but this one guy, the drafts and, but again, the Fields eight, one, John, the two teams, days. The field, we could. I'm with you. Like, who knows? But there are two teams that RSVP'd for the Fields one until the day before, basically, and that was the Niners and the no, Patriots. You're right. Yeah, you're so right. it does feel like Kyle is driving a lot of this, and why not? I mean, if you're Justin, if you're Justin Fields or Trey Lance, he's got the third pick. You want to play for him, so you you do whatever you got to do. And other teams go, well, if we're gonna do it, what? Well, we might as well show up again, right? Well, just put just put it in normal people conversation. If you were a 23 year old trying to get a job at Google and you interviewed with middle management at Google and it like went pretty well and you're like, oh, I'm doing good. And then like a month later, you, but you've spent a lot of time on that interview. The interview went well. A decision maker at Google was like, Hey man, uh, the VP of Google, he's worth about a billion dollars, wants to sit down with you. Could you do the interview again? Would you say no? Of course you'd fucking do it again. Like it is pretty, because I I've thought I don't remember multiple pro days happening really ever. Now private workouts happen, and maybe that's a way to justify it. Where it's like, not that the player or agent would push back; they want their guy to go three, right? Because typically the the private workouts. Now you you would turn them down like if you were Trey Lance a little it's it's a little NBA style. You wouldn't do private workouts for random teams in the twenties. You'd be like, "Yeah, we don't think you can right. get up here. We're not going to waste our time." But or you would have done. Oh, remember the story was the Sacramento Kings had trouble getting people to work out for them because people didn't want to play for them. You to me, you would have done it with the Niners at twelve. Like they would have probably wanted to put all these guys through a private workout. 
But that's where I think Kyle back to what his original premise, like everyone had been like, God, they've worked out all five quarterbacks. Right. Woo, 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 woo. One job I had my first year in the NFL was to work with the the pro scouting department and our college director. And I was in charge of the team needs boards. Now it's all digital, but like what teams, what are their needs going into the draft and who have they isolated during the draft that we think they're going to head toward? Like that, a huge part of this, if you're these other teams, is putting the puzzle together, right? I, I heard, uh, who's the guy we were talking about the other day? Mark Ross, who used to be, yeah. I think he worked for the Eagles. He was saying, like, we always used to put together the team needs. You'd have, like, five needs, and then they would draft something that wasn't any of their needs. We'd be like, what the hell did we spend all that time for? <laughs> I, I know. I'm sure you saw your hard work get wasted many times. Because th- this would be my pushback to Kyle. It's like, I, I think you think everyone's going to take it black and white, and they kind of do, but I don't actually think it signals that much. Right. Yeah, with, it, with quarterbacks, it probably does more than like if I had told you the Niners just worked out every offensive lineman. Yeah, maybe they just like doing that. Right. They just like the information in their hopper when these guys become available trades. That's a yeah. Belichick thing. He works out a lot of people. Yeah, I think the key would be right. You either see everybody or you see none of them, but you can't pick a couple. But again, that's part of the maybe you are picking a couple. Michael Lombardi after the first Trey Lance Pro Day after the Niners had made the move up to three, said that he thought, and we'll get to his comments on fields later, but said that he thought the fact that Kyle wasn't at the Trey Lance Pro Day was an indication that Kyle didn't want Trey Lance. I thought it was an indication that he did want him at the time. Now who knows, right? Yeah. But it, I think your point is like, you could read it both either way. Here's what we know. Like this They've gone out of their way now to spend time around all three guys that are in their little crew, right? They started with Mac Jones, and then they've worked their way through the other two. And and like Mac Jones, I know my buddy that does Alabama was like, I think you're reading too much into the second pro day. It was more because of the amount of draftable players they have. I'm like, well, that's true, but my pushback would be Mac worked out in both of them, right? So it's one thing to have multiple pro days to so like, First half's the defense, the second one's for the offense, but Mac had both two pro days. Yeah, if if Kyle these, Shanahan and Bill Belichick aren't at the second pro day, is he there th- doing everything? You could argue, are all three pro days, have they been driven by the Niners? I, I feel like a day? lot of the NFL right now is centered on them because they took the big swing. They're the big—it feels like, I would argue, and I've said this, if I'm them, the draft starts at two because I just, no matter what I've been told, I just until the Jets make their pick, I don't know. I think they feel pretty comfortable, though. With this. I mean, it does feel I like the league right. feels very comfortable with that selection. I think you're right. It does. Right now, the draft there, starts. It feels like there a was three. a little Trevor Lawrence backpedal. Did you see that over the last like 48 hours? Uh, you mean he as came, related to the quotes? He came out and said he thought his quotes were misrepresented, and he's all in football guy. It means everything to him. Yeah, he backpedaled. And, and in fairness to him, it wasn't totally all his quotes, but I think clearly the agents like we can't have people thinking you're not a football grinder, right? right? Although you we could need, argue, you, I don't. If you don't want to go to Jacksonville, well, he does though. He's a Southern guy. Dabble's best friends with Urban. Just bad for the brand. What if I told you Trevor Lawrence was available for the Niners? Would you think twice because of his comments? If he was available at three, yeah, I would not think twice. <laughs> I <know what> I, <laughs> I'd be like, great. Yeah. Let's, Come Would you think that'd be a pretty big story if Kyle Trey to Cabo. If, uh, Trevor Lawrence was falling and they took Mac Jones over Trevor Lawrence? <laughs> Belichick ends up with Trevor Lawrence at like seven. If I did told you that Mac Jones was their pick, but for whatever reason, Urban goes Justin Fields, they go Zach Wilson at two. Could Kyle ever live that down? Like on draft night, would people be freaking out? If three teams passed on Trevor Lawrence? No, no, no. I'm just saying that for the Niners in a vacuum, the first two do, because yeah. let's say the whole time Urban was in love with Justin Fields, gotcha, he got gotcha, his guy. Gotcha. They and were going to take Zach. They had Zach yeah. Wilson, Chris Sim style over Trevor Lawrence. So Zach Wilson goes there. The only way you live that down is if it turns out three teams, we thought this guy was the number one pick for three years, and then three teams passed on him. He must have the biggest behind the scenes red flags in the history of red flags. Um, yeah, but I think this is the, you know, so Trey Lance is going to work out. We'll get to see him Monday. We'll watch. You know, we'll watch the videos. We'll probably talk about it. It's a pretty unique, like Fields had been in two Big Ten title games. Had been This guy's played one football game in two years. And I don't know, John, if you talk, were people going to his games in 2019, like watching them? Yeah, I mean, not watching him. I mean, guy, he was a redshirt freshman. You wouldn't even have thought twice. And he wasn't some 
I mean, for North Dakota State, he was a big recruit, but I don't think people were like, hey, we got our next Carson Wentz. Well, let's go watch You don't even guy. think like that until I watched this draft special. It was cool because they, the things that I didn't know that until you educated me on that he turned down Minnesota. His dreams were go to Minnesota. So they had this draft special where basically the entire draft special, you and I could have produced it. The whole thing was about the five quarterbacks. Every segment was a deep dive into the five quarterbacks. It might have actually been the four. They didn't spend that much time on Lawrence. And the thing with Trey Lance was wanted to go to Minnesota, wanted to go to Minnesota, wanted to go to Minnesota. And his mom was like, the night they told us that they weren't going to recruit him as a quarterback was a rough night in our house. And he stayed true. He stayed true. Goes to North Dakota State. Obviously, red shirts that freshman year. When he began starting, his dad was like, you know, at first it was like we had a good game to open up. It was like, this is cool. And then week and week and week, I'm like, are we living in a dream? Because it was like three touchdowns. And then the next game, three touchdowns and a rushing touchdown. The next game, it was just like, the this is his dad talking. Yeah. It was like incredible experience. You Storybook, they win the national championship, but like – you didn't even realize what you were living until you were like week 10. You look back, you're like, this is insane. So the scouting community, I mean, guy, they are not focused on Trey Lance. So, yeah, I think it gets back to seeing him in person. Even e- even your scout that does that area was like, honestly, when I was going through, I, I mean, he was the last guy I was focused. He was 19, 18 years old, right? I, I don't even blame that scout. Yeah. And then this year they played the one game. I don't think you could put much stock into that. No, I, that's his only interception. Um yeah, and here's the other part, right? Like, this is the story is that this is going to be, he's going to be doing some of the stuff Kyle wants to see. He That's the really other element. Is one of the see. cooler stories, just his story, and now that clearly he's going to get drafted relatively high in recent memory. Also, when you factor in Corona and sees again, kids, totally. right? Yep. He's so much different than all these other guys because that division didn't happen, right? It just, they're FCS football. Guy, Cal Poly, UC Davis, these teams are playing right now. I know. 